My uncle Dennis Goldberg passed away at 5 to 12 last night. He had been suffering from stage 4 lung cancer, diabetes and aneurysm for some years now. And although he was in great pain all day yesterday, he died peacefully last night. He, he died at his home in his beloved Hout Bay, um, a place that he has devoted his life to in the last few years. De Dennis never uh, s stopped believing in his ideals. He never veered and he, he always thought of people first. Now, tributes are starting to stream in. Joining me now on the line is Ronnie Caswells, talking to us from Johannesburg. A very good morning to you, Ronnie. What is your response? Good morning. <clears throat> yeah, very sad to hear about the passing away of an outstanding, a fine, a remarkable South African and human being. Um, I must say that there was something Dennis shouted out in the Ravonia trial to his mother after the um, sentence to life imprisonment of Mandela Sasuluka Thrada himself and the others. And his aged mother was sitting in the courtroom, terrified that they were going to be sentenced to death. And Dennis shouted over to her, mother, mother, life, a life to live. And that mm -hmm. really was something so inherent and part of Dennis Goldberg, whose life was extraordinary, extraordinary in terms of the service to the people of this world, to the South African people in the struggle for freedom and justice, equality and rights. He was an absolute fighter for that, courageous, undaunting, self-sacrificing. He carried that through his whole life, this rich, long 78 years. And in the end, he fought this dreadful illness for the last four or five years. And it was at a time in which he was not isolated and bedridden. He traveled around. He came up to the Ravonia Museum and to, to other events in the country. He attended events within Cape Town. And he did enormous work in his community in Hart Bay, helping to unlift the, uplift the people there with the most incredible uh, trust that he created, uh, drew in money from people who, who absolutely admired him throughout the world and brought football and concerts, musical appreciation, set up an orchestra in that community. And, and Ronnie, if I could just jump in here, forgive me, I mean, his political actors, activism really can be celebrate, celebrated, can't it, then and now. I mean, the fact that he never let go of the core values of the party is very outspoken when those were transgressed. Oh, absolutely. This was his devotion to duty, his belief that political struggle was not about self-serving, about feathering one's own nest and glory seeking, but absolutely about serving the people. Um, so he was appalled at the level of corruption that had developed in the country. Uh, he was appalled at the whole period of Jacob Zuma and the thieving and the theft that was taking place. Uh, like so many of that golden generation of his, the Trees and Carlos, the Ravonia people, Mandela, Sisulu, Slovo and others, it was about the highest level of morality and integrity. And this is what saddened him so much as he saw this being debased, as he spoke up in the most courageous manner. So... You know, this is the kind of person the youth of our country and all of us need to emulate. And incredible. I mean, he spent 22 years in jail, a whites-only jail, away from the other trialists. I mean, that must have had quite a devastating impact. It, it was a tremendous, um, cruel aspect of apartheid, where you had people like Dennis Goldberg, and there were a handful of these outstanding whites, some of his age, some of who, who were younger, um, Jeremy Cronin, Raymond Sutton and others who, who joined him in prison later. 
that they were, and in Dennis's case, in the first instance, isolated from those trialists and basically kept uh, in isolation in Pretoria. There were, there were so few whites of uh, that political background. Um, it was a grouping, though, with, with of course, the great outstanding Braun Fisher. Um, and it was never more than a dozen of them together. They maintained a solidarity. Dennis was absolutely outstanding in um, his gifts, his political education, his wonderful cultural uh, uh, depth, etc., and helped to create a wonderful dynamic circle amongst these older and younger comrades. Uh, but, of course, to be separated from the the the, the um, comrades from Mandela and uh, Sisulu and others who were on Robben Island was a, a, a great divorce from the people who he was part of. Uh, but that was a divorce only in, in, in physical terms. It's, it's like under coronavirus now. Uh, even in isolation, people like Dennis was able to link in to the community, to Ubuntu, to the people of our country and our struggle, and inspired everybody. Ronnie Kazwas, thank you for talking to us about an extraordinary man. Dennis Goldberg died at the age of 87.